Hi there. This is just a friendly reminder that if you look at every Hi there. This is just a friendly reminder that if you look at every single fat person and you automatically think they're addicted to food, guess what? That means you are fat phobic. That means you have fat phobia. That means that you do not see people like fat people as human beings. You see us as failures. Well, maybe that last part, but I don't know about human beings. That's kind of like stretching the, the ballpark out really, really far to make it seem like your point stands on any type of any type of legitimacy at all. And that's something I notice a lot from people that want to reinforce a claim that they know that is obviously an indefensible claim. So like, for instance, in this particular matter, nobody thinks that fat people are not human beings. Obviously, they are human beings. That's kind of crazy to even say. I, it's such a like you might find one or two people on in the world that might say that fat people are not real people, which even in those particular fronts, those guys probably have like major autism or like suffering from major debilitating conditions, like believing that the earth is flat, but whatever. So what I tend to see, right, is that these people, instead of like making valid criticisms or valid claims at all, they'll instead try to like inflate the idea of whatever they're talking about. So like, for instance, here, they're saying, yes, you think that fat people are not real people. So if you think I'm bad, you're really bad. Because if you think that fat people, uh, if you think fat people, then you must think that fat people are not real people. So you're like really bad, which nobody says that like nobody, literally no one at all. But for somebody like Marissa Matthews, these are like everyday claims for her. So I'm not surprised that she would say some absolute hogwash like this. I mean, it's, it's, it's a pretty the norm for her. I mean, she says some shit that's like ridiculous on every single day. And I honestly do believe that Marissa Matthews here is she's got the you ever watch you ever watch Charlie and the Fa Chocolate Factory you can probably t talk about the Gene Wilder one from way back in the 70s or the 80s whenever that came out and uh, you remember the purple girl that ate the the gobstopper or whatever she inflated she turned purple I don't know what's going on with Marissa here in this video she looks like she obviously has like a major type of inflammatory reaction to some particular type of thing that she was taking it looks really bad actually I don't know what happened to her on this day but she looks like that girl from that show that's 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 all I wanted to say about that one but uh yeah people tend to like people tend to have this like ginormity when it comes to their claims so that way they can make it seem like uh you're really really wrong when in reality nobody is saying that so. see people like fat people as human beings you see us as failures you see us as people that are less than and it means that definitely you failures though right i mean it just depends on what you're what, what, it, everybody has their own subjective def everybody has their own subjective definition uh by way by by how they judge themselves in the world so like for instance i don't view myself as a failure but i know that plenty of other people probably view me as a failure in other ways you know what i'm talking about like there have been many times you have a conversation with somebody and they be like they're really succeeding in one area of their life and you're kind of like lacking in that area they might think that you're a failure in that particular aspect in the same way that for instance uh i don't view the taking care of my body part of my life as a failure statement i don't know i'm like pretty in shape I work out consistently, my cardiovascular health is peak, and for somebody like Marissa, none of those things apply. I mean, obviously, she's overweight, and I doubt that she could probably stand up for more than an hour without being out of breath or having severe pain in the lower extremities of her body. So, with that on the front, yes, I do, I do view you as a failure, but if that's not how you want to go through the world, or that's not how you want to, like, navigate it, that's fine. You don't have to. It's okay for you to, like... You know, it's like that the, the whole thing of like, no, my health is really good. And you go like, okay, um, but you're like 450 pounds and like you literally have a hard time like walking up the stairs and you haven't took a shower in four months because you physically cannot lift your leg up over the the barrier in between like the not shower and the shower to get into the shower to take a, you know, shower. So like, what do you mean you're not, what do you mean you're healthy? And you, they go, oh, well, uh, I got rid of my foot fungus like four days ago and it's really, really great. I did wart removal. I got rid of 15 skin tags. That were all over my neck. So it's great. I'm amazed. It's like I'm so healthy. So like people have like weird definitions on how they like to cope with the fact that they're very, very unhealthy. Or I guess they do like the bare minimum to try to make it seem like they're doing something. Anything to get them to sleep at night, I guess. Which is really, really sad because like ultimately, yes, I'm sure getting rid of those skin tags. I'm sure like putting on deodorant. I'm sure like all this stuff is definitely going to help you in the realm of health. But it's like a drop in the bucket in comparison to being like 450 pounds year round and then trying to defend it and telling everybody else that they're bad people and that like we we're just so incredibly terrible because we think that being fat is not a good thing. I mean, it's it's fine. You can go and cope with it. But the virtue signaling is like it's it's actually really, really cringe. And it's also super disingenuous. Like I know that Marissa here always tries to make it seem like she's the bigger person. <laughs> no pun intended. But 
in reality, Marissa is the lowest person. She's actually terrible, like disgusting, bottom of the barrel, filth. Uh, and she's a, a consistently displaying that particular type of, uh, those particular types of character traits. So I don't think it's a stretch to say that Marissa is, I mean, obviously she's told us this before, that she's de deeply mentally disabled and a lot of the, her mental disabilities are not even diagnosed. She just kind of goes off and says, I have this, I have this, I have this, I have this, and they're all undiagnosed. Therefore, you should pander to me and anything I say online should be taken with many, many grains, not even grains, buckets of salt because I might say something stupid and I odds are none of the stuff I'm saying actually means anything in reality. But that shouldn't matter because guess what? If you make fun of me or you say that I'm wrong about something, I have a mental disability that's probably undiagnosed and you're the bad person for that. It's the, it's like the best cop out, isn't it? I'm sick of those people, by the way. Like if you have a mental disability, stay off the internet. Why are you on the internet making all these videos saying the most blasphemous shit? And then when somebody calls you out on it, you go, oh, well, I have a mental disability. Okay. Sure, bro. Great. That's amazing. So I guess nobody could ever talk about any problems with you or like any work close to critiquing you. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's the best. It's the best. Marissa is the best. You need to unlearn your fat phobic and biased stereotypes about fat people in order to see us clearly. Because you cannot tell someone's health or their habits or anything about them by simply looking at them. I don't know where they get this idea from, dude. It's, it's absolutely not factual in any particular way at all dude what are you talking about you can't judge but dude first of all you're fat so that tells me that you have an issue with consuming food and probably consuming foods that are too high in calorie when you look at somebody like eugenia cooney are you gonna like deduce that this person is eating tons and tons and tons of food oh i can't assume anything about this person at all no that's dumb marissa obviously that's fucking stupid you can deduce a lot based off of physical you know what okay First of all, let's be honest here for a second. When you go up and you show up for a job, are you just showing up in whatever the fuck you want? Are you just like showing up in like a wife beater and some Tims? No, you're obviously not doing that. You're showing up in your boat shoes. You're showing up in your brown khakis and you're showing up in your white button up. Yes, this goes for anybody. I don't know what ladies wear. I guess like maybe, I don't know, sun, your, your like weird yellow sundresses with like, I don't know, Crocs or something like that. I don't know what girls wear nowadays. Everything looks bad nowadays. So anyway, I don't get it. And guys have always looked bad. So it's like, we don't really have standards. But anyway, you're, you're showing up, you're dressed as well as you possibly can. When you go on a first date, are you showing up with like very, very, you wear, are you showing up with like, I don't know, like neon leggings and a, a, a terrible beat up wife beater with like spaghetti stains and holes in it? No, you're not doing that. Obviously fucking not. You're showing up best dressed. There's a reason for that because people perceive you dis differently depending on how you look okay and the same thing could be said with like you show up and you see a guy injecting fucking heroin right into his veins are you, are you deducing this guy doesn't have a heroin addiction probably not so if you want to go about the world believing that you can't assume or like you can't use your deductive reasoning to to to, to deduce whether or not this person has issues or not you can do that but it's not in reality that's not how that works at all at all literally but you know what Go ahead, Mercy. Health or their habits or anything about them by simply looking at them. This is literally. It's, it's like, it's such a bad point to die on, too. Like, can you imagine somebody making this claim? It's so crazy, dude. Like, this is really where you want to go. This is really the claim you want to make, dude. Because I promise there are way better claims when it comes to this fat acceptance bullshit or not assuming somebody's like whatever the fuck. You could just. You could just be on the moral high ground here and say it's not appropriate to judge somebody based off their physical appearance. That would be a better hill to die on than you can't assume. There's there's obviously no way anybody's going to look at that and go, yeah, you know what? You're right. I can't assume that this guy that I'm looking at right now with two legs missing obviously can't walk. I'm not going to assume that, obviously. So, yes, that's it's, it's a bullshit point. But I promise the one that I just brought up would be way better if you actually focus on that one. Really what all the books in fucking school teach you is to not judge a book by its cover. That's true. Don't judge a book by its cover, but I'm going to let you know something right now. If I'm reading a book, okay, if I pick up a book and that book reads how to be, how to suck the biggest meat in the entire world 15 times and do it successfully enough to become a world record holder. And then you pop open the book and it's Gordon Ramsay sauteing some fucking mushrooms on a pan it's like oh yeah 110 recipes from gordon ramsay okay dude i mean like most people when they read that cover are gonna put it down unless you're weird but it's okay if you're weird by the way and you're gonna put it down 
and then you're going to walk away. So yes, don't judge a book by its cover, but it's like pretty important to understand that sometimes covers are really important. Like thumbnails are really important. Like movie covers are really important, dude, because people want to buy stuff, right? And they want to see that it's a good item. So they're looking at the cover. They're looking at what the, what the cover gives to them. For a long time, nobody had online reviews. For a long time, people didn't know what how to get through, like what movies were good and what movies were bad. You just had to go to the movie. And hopefully the poster of that movie or video game or whatever the hell you were buying was good enough to relay the information to you that this is a good product, right? So yes, you are correct. Don't judge a book by its cover, but simultaneously, I wouldn't hate on you if you did. It makes sense that you're judging a book by its cover because that's how everybody judges everything in general. Anyway. Er. You literally cannot tell. And it doesn't even make sense either because what you're basically saying is like, don't judge a book by its cover. And the book is titled, How to Be a Crackhead. And then you go, oh, okay, uh, I'm not going to judge a book by its cover. And then you open the first page. It's like, get step one, buy crack. Okay, well, like, I don't know. It seems kind of like this is a crackhead. You know, it's the same shit here. Like, don't judge a book by its cover. I'm assuming that you have a problem with overconsumption of calories. And you tell me not to judge that. I know you have an overconsumption with calories. That's a factual statement. And by the way, Marissa, nobody's entitled to read your wiki page. No, I don't even know if you have a wiki page. By the way, somebody make a wiki page for me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if she has a wiki page. But the point I'm making is nobody's entitled to go through your entire, like, world, your, your entire, how you operate in the world, your history, your ideas that you have, where you went to school, the first car you drove, just to understand whether or not you have an issue with food or you don't have an issue with food. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares, dude. Most people are just watching your video and going, that's a fat person. And then they click off. Why are you taking it that serious? First and foremost. So, anyway. Well, if someone is addicted to something by just looking at them. And well, <laughs> okay. And if you think that all fat people are addicted to food, then whoa. Most fat people, okay, look. It's, again, you're hooking on to something that's like a, what do they call it, dude? Like a red herring. It's not actually the point that you're making here. Nobody thinks that fat, well, to a very basic degree, people think that you're addicted to food. But it's kind of like the same thing when people say, go to the gym. They don't mean directly go to the gym. They more or less mean get in shape. They more or less mean get your body in order. So when somebody says you're addicted to food, that can mean a lot of things. That could mean you're actually addicted to food and you're eating a lot and you don't realize how much you're eating. Or it could mean you're eating too many calories. Or it could mean you don't actually realize that you're eating way more than what you need and you're thinking that it's actually normal. It's not. I'm going to let you know, if you're overweight, if you're obese, you're eating more than what you need. And that might not be more than what you need for another person. That could be ter that could be like a B-Jorn half Thor. That could be 450 pounds with abs, and he can eat 1,400 calories a day and be I. But for you, who's sedentary and fat and stays inside all day and complains on the internet and looks like that one purple girl from that one movie, yeah, dude, it's obvious. Like, you're... You know, you have a problem with overconsumption of food, and it's okay. It's all right. I mean, it's not a good thing, but it's, at least it's something you can acknowledge. But you can't even do that. Instead, you want to make these videos, and you want to tell people that they're wrong about something they obviously know they're correct about. But go off, queen. It's up to you. You are in for a harsh reality when you learn that that's not the case. Okay. So tell us. I would love. I would love for Marissa to just come out with a video just going through what she eats in a month. Uh, you know, I understand that might be a tough thing for her. Uh, I would also really enjoy to talk to Marissa to see how exactly she became obese without without the I, without going through the process of eating too much. I would love to know how that's possible. But given the fact that Marissa is literally antisocial with the exception of just replying to comments on the internet, I don't think that's ever going to happen because she knows that if she ever did have a conversation with anybody, it would be to her detriment. So if this video is directed at you, please take it. Please think on it. And then go and learn, unlearn some stuff. True. Unlearn some stuff. Beautiful. I love that. Thanks. Yes. Moral. Th I think that when I watch Marissa, I do believe that I actually become dumber because like her way of thinking about things literally makes like it, it, it I cease to like, cause like sometimes what I'll do is I'll go one plus one equals two. But for Marissa, it's more so like one plus egg sack equals orange tangerines or something like that. And I just can't follow the, I can't follow the logic there. So for her, when I listen to her videos, I have to like try to wrap my head around how she's thinking about this stuff. And I do believe through that process, it's actually reducing my mental capacity. Anyway. Failing is a rude way to say it, but guess- Moral failing is indeed a harsh way to put it, but it is a sign of addiction. Addiction to food no is no less determinal 
than addiction to nicotine, not moral failing, but an issue to be worked on. Yeah. Uh, this is a factual statement. And you know what? Moral failings to who? It just depends on who you're talking to. If you're talking to a group of crackheads and you're a crackhead, probably not a moral failing. But if you're talking to, I don't know, dude, let's say Neil deGrasse Tyson about your crack addiction, he probably looks at you as like you're, you know, not good or whatever. It's not the best. So, yes, true. But it's not, it's... I don't know. I don't know why we're even focusing on these points. Like this is such a dumb. This is such a dumb point to even have. Why are we arguing about moral failings? Just get your health in order. Guess what? A lot of people believe that fat people should not exist because they are fat. You know what? I do believe that there are people out there that do believe that fat people should not exist because they're fat. But there's probably like five of them, and they're all probably from like. I don't know, south of the country and their mother and their fathers are like sister and brothers type shit, you know? And that's okay. I mean, it's not good. You obviously don't want people that are uh, same same brother and sister being your parents, but it is what it is. And you know what? I don't know. Like people from Canada can also have a little bit of something extra, right? Marissa's from Canada. It kind of seems like her mental capacity is severely diminished. And you know what? A lot of people were telling me that she does not look like Benjamin Franklin. She looks like Benjamin Franklin. I don't care what anybody says. Benjamin Franklin right here. New founding father. Okay? Get up there, bro. Come at me. That's fucking Benjamin Franklin 2.0, okay? There are people out there that do think that fat people should not exist. But uh, it's not many, okay? This is like somebody trying to argue 2 plus 2 and then you just bring up a 2 plus 2... I think that people that drink coffee should be, that's, that's wrong. That's all wrong. What are you talking about? What does that have to do with anything? Nobody's even saying that. This comment doesn't even say that. What do you, why are you, why are you going, you're reading this comment and then you're going, okay, I hear what you're saying. These are valid criticisms. And you know what? Kind of makes a little bit of sense, but I'm going to just randomly say something that is going to like blow you away at the sheer stupidity of it. But in my mind, it makes a little bit of sense. And if, you know, to, to honestly speaking here, it actually doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm just going to say it because that's a good win point for me. You know what I'm talking about? It's like when somebody goes, okay, you did something wrong. Okay. I've had this problem many times in relationships. You did something wrong. Here's my problem. Here's what I think you did incorrect. And the other person will go, hold, damn, David, hold on. Why are you yelling? Why are you yelling right now? Can you just talk a little bit? Low? Why are you saying these words to me? And just going, uh, because you did something wrong. I'm not yelling either. It's just like how I talk. I don't know like what you're talking about. Like what does that have to do with anything? Like can we focus on actually the point? A lot of deflection, a lot of hooking onto things that have no relevance at all that maybe could have some relevance, but actually don't have any relevance. Let's actually focus on the context of the question rather than just randomly bringing up, I don't even know where you're getting these points from. And then trying to battle that from this particular point. That doesn't make any sense. You're literally changing battlefields right now and nobody's even arguing that. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. If there was somebody right now on the planet and said, I think fat people shouldn't exist. I would go, well, that guy's wrong, obviously. And I would cede the point to you because I'm not going to die on that hill. I think he's probably wrong too. That's yeah, obvious. Like, so can we move on to the actual subject of the conversation instead of like just randomly trying to bring up other points to try to like win battles on that one? Nobody gives a fuck about this point and therefore it's a moral failing. You're true about that, but you are fat phobic. Okay, I just, I just, I'm sorry, dude, but just like, just randomly coming out of nowhere and going, you are fat phobic is some of the most cringy shit I've, I've heard in a long time. Therefore it's a moral failing. You're true about that, but you are fat phobic, but you are being fat phobic right now because your biases and your stereotypes are clouding your judgment. You do not know that about me. You have absolutely no fucking proof to prove that i am that i have an addiction to food it's just not the hill you want to die on dude okay first of all would you find like one comment that you thought was like wrong out of the series of other ones i guess it really doesn't matter marissa will literally attack you for just saying nice things to her so it doesn't matter for her but okay let's just say that you're not addicted to food or you're not a, like you don't care about food that's fine, Marissa. I don't know. Like, maybe you're purposely going about it. Like, I, you know, even if you weren't addicted to food, at least if you were addicted to food, you wouldn't realize that you were addicted to it, or at least it was like a passive thing that you're just doing just to get by. Like, a lot of people that are addicted to substances, even though they are going out of their way to get the substance, it's more so like a passive thing. It's more so like, I'm addicted to this, therefore I have to do this, as opposed to, I want to do this, so I'm going to go out and do it. So even if you weren't addicted... It's actually not good either because that just means that you're just eating a lot of food and you don't give a fuck. So either way, it's not good. There's literally no winning on this one. So 
That is a fat phobic bias stereotype that you are applying to me simply based on what I look like. That's also, I think that probably, if I'm going to be honest here for a second, it's probably not a good idea to just randomly demonize people and call them names because they're selling you something that they think. It'd probably be better to just go, okay, I see why you think this because obviously fat people usually get fat because they eat a lot of food and you think I am fat because I eat a lot of food when in reality, I don't eat a lot of food. I'm just eating a lot of calories and I just stuck. I like poke, I poke holes with sticks into butter and I just take the butter and I, eh, 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 and I suck on butter for 45 minutes at a time. I know that butter is not good for you and I'm probably going to die at 45. I know that this is incorrect, but guess what? I don't have a food problem. I just suck on butter sticks. If you said that, then I would go, oh, okay. Yeah. That, all right. Then you're not addicted to food. You're just, you're just like sucking on butter sticks, which are like 4,000 calories of a stick or something like that. Anyway. That is the definition of fat phobia. You have nothing to prove that this is true. You don't know who I am. You are not my doctor. Again, like nobody owes you looking through your Wikipedia to find out whether or not you actually are addicted to food. Like this is such a dumbass fucking point, bro. Like if it looks like a duck and it walks like a duck, it's probably a fucking duck. In the same way that if you say a whole bunch of hogwash, that'd be like a guy going, I just don't think, man. Like, I'm going to be honest, man. I think that black people are busted, man. I hate blackies. Blackies are gross. Cocoa butter is the worst, man. All them ankle bracelet, watermelon eating, I hate them. And then you go, this guy sounds racist. And he goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not racist. I love black people. My wife is black. Well, listen, dude. I got to keep it about what you did. You said a lot of things, and those things were all racist. So... If Marissa says a lot of stuff and I can see that she says a lot of things that are just not true or doesn't don't make any sense at all and you look fat and you seem like you have a hard time doing stuff, most people are going to determine that you're eating too much. And I know that you don't think that's right or wrong or whatever the fuck you want to say, but it's what it is. Okay, dude, I'm sorry. Stop trying to make it seem like people are the egregious ones for looking upon you and seeing a lot of things and then deducing that that is the issue when it obviously is the issue. It's actually really funny that it is actually the issue here. You are not my friend, you are not in my life. Therefore, you have absolutely no way of assuming that. I just want Marissa to just not be on the internet anymore. Like, honestly speaking, this person cannot handle the internet. It's blatant, it's very, very blatant. I do believe that Marissa has a, uh, you know, a lot of people I've, I've found in the last few years that are on social media just shouldn't be on social media and they get platforms and they get big platforms too and it really sucks sometimes when i see people that are actually mentally disabled like people with autism people with down syndrome people that have actual disabilities and they have giant platforms millions of followers and these people are basically reinforcing the bad behaviors of these people that are mentally disabled or they're following people that literally have mental disabilities and I don't know how I feel about that. I wanted to think about that for a little bit longer, but most of the time I think this is not good. These people should probably not be permitted on sites or uh, on, on particular platforms and things like that. But other parts of me say we should let people do what they want as long as it's within TOS, it should be okay. But then again, it's like these people are not normal people. They obviously have mental issues. So I don't know how to feel about that. But it sucks that a lot of people are literally just being farmed based off of their mental illnesses. For somebody like Marissa, who can actually articulate sentences, who can actually tell you what they have wrong with them, and navigate through sentences and things such and so forth, it's crazy to me that Marissa can say all this stuff and not realize that she is literally the bane of her own existence. That she is the reason why all of this stuff is happening to her to begin with. And for some reason, she doesn't remove herself from the situation. She just likes the attention. She likes the negative attention because it gives her attention. Attention is attention, right? So for her to be saying all this hogwash bullshit and not realize that she should just not be on the internet because she obviously can't handle it. I know she's an adult, but let's be honest here for a second. Her mental capacity is like that of like a nine-year-old or something like that. I mean, she can talk well. She obviously did some stuff in school and things like such, such, such and so forth, but she's not equipped for the internet. And I don't even think this person might be equipped for like real life. Like, honestly speaking, this person might have to be subsidized by the government, which is okay if that's the case. For a fact. So instead of doing all of this, why don't you just be quiet? That's beautiful, Marissa. Ah, uh, rules for thee, but not for me. I just really... When I look at somebody like Marissa saying, be quiet, to me, it always screams, you're retarded. How can you make a video and claim to, to, how can you make a video and claim that somebody should be quiet based off a comment that was on a video 
that you made and they were responding to that you left the comments on. So how the fuck does that even make sense? Why did, why should this person be quiet, but you shouldn't be quiet? I just don't understand. How does that even make sense? How can you say both of those things simultaneously? If you believe that this person should be quiet because you determine what they're saying as blasphemous or incorrect information, how can you say that same thing given that the other person probably thinks the same thing about you? Do you not understand that you, that it just doesn't make any sense? Like it's one thing to tell somebody that they're stupid and then what they said is wrong. It's another thing to tell them to be quiet in general because you don't agree with what they're saying. That's crazy. You'll never catch me saying that shit. Say whatever you want. It's actually quite entertaining to hear you say complete hogwash, complete butter biscuited dusty ass statements. I love it. It's actually one of my favorite things to deconstruct Marissa Matthew. So keep going Marissa, it's awesome. Keep your fat phobia to your fucking self Damn. and stop harming other fat people. You know, harming is just a, it's, it's such a weird word to use in this particular area. But obviously, we know why Marissa is saying it again. You're exaggerating certain points to make it seem like this other person is in the wrong like crazy. It's kind of like the Karen videos where somebody's going, well, I'm not going to deliver this to your house anymore because you're being really, really rude to me. And you told me I couldn't do this particular thing. So I'm just going to not deliver this. And then the part the Karen just starts screaming at the top of the lung and calling the cops and telling them he's abusing me. He's beating me up. We all have seen like 50 of those videos, right? That's what Marissa is doing here. Karen behavior, literally. You're trying to, instead of like actually attacking the point, you're trying to like make up other points and latch onto those to try to make it seem like the other person is worse than you, even though they didn't say anything that would indicate any of that. And then also you're kind of being an asshole, just randomly bringing up that they're fat phobic and that they should just leave your page when your shit is fucking public, dude. Fix your shit, Marissa, fix your shit. Well, because your comment is harmful. And you've been- You're wor- Bro, oh man, I'm not even gonna- uh, Look, if you're gonna sit here and say that the, these, these words are harmful, which generically speaking, they're not harmful, okay? Let's be honest here for a second. Uh, your words would also be harmful then, by definition. And you know what? It actually might be more harmful. So, you know, hey bro, take your own advice, I guess. Around my profile for so fucking long that you need to grow up, grow a pair, True. and stop being fat phobic. It's about time that you unlearn it. True. No, I am fat, and your comment is actually very invalidating. So she got a Snuggie on, dude. You guys remember when Snuggies used to be really fucking cool, but then they died out really quickly? Man, sometimes I wish that was Crocs. Like, I remember growing up and seeing Crocs. Nobody gave a fuck about Crocs. Like, you would see, like, three people wearing the Crocs pre-2015. Like, nobody wore them. And then, out of nowhere, they just blew up, and everybody's buying the little widgets and shit like that. People even ask me, David, what kind of widget should I get? What are you talking about? Isn't like the whole purpose of Crocs to have the little holes in there? I thought that was like a design choice. Why are you trying to plug them up? That's stupid. Oh, but the Little Mermaid. Okay, dude, what are you fucking talking about, man? First of all, that's weird. No, uh, I wish that they would get rid of these Crocs, man. They're terrible. They're disgusting. I understand they're good, durable shoes or whatever the fuck. But you do know that they're being made in like factories in Taiwan being crafted by the hands of... I don't think anyone actually. There's probably somebody at the end of the line, though, that's probably like, putting it in the boxes or whatever because most of them are just literal recycled plastic which i guess is a good thing but anyway i don't even know what we're talking about man let's read that let's read this comment a person might might have fat but can't be fat itself uh, in my opinion you are attractive voluptuous creative brilliant outgoing hilarious colorful and freaking awesome so like you know what i really love about marissa is that she has this ability to even take somebody's great compliments. Like this this person literally just went above and beyond and complimented this individual. And Marissa is going to still find a way to talk, talk that shit. Hashtag slay queen edges on this individual because I guess they use one terminology wrong, dude. And most people would give you the benefit of the doubt. You know, most people wouldn't call you out on that. You gave me like 15 compliments, but you said one thing that was kind of a little bit incorrect. But I can see why you said that. Nah. It's never going to be enough for Marissa. She's going to always have to call you out on it. And this is why I say she just shouldn't be on the internet. And also, it's like no benefit at all to even have any type of contact with this individual. Literally, just not even purpose for this person. It's, it's She's literally her own worst enemy. There's no other way to say it than that. You unlearn it. No, I am fat. And your comment is actually very invalidating. So. It's great. You know, all those compliments, dude. But you know what? You're right. Marissa, you're totally right. So let me explain why. I'm literally fat. Because I'm fat. True. But yes, I am attractive. Well, well, hold up. That's kind of a little bit. What, let, let's be honest for a second. Can we just be honest, dude? I, you know, there are plenty of people in the world that I would deem as attractive. Henry Cavill. 
Brad Pitt, Troy, my favorite version of Brad Pitt. Marissa Matthews, mm, ah, not even close, not even anywhere near the top, matter of fact, because attractive is like a pretty high echelon of people. I guess, mm, I guess, let's be honest here for a second, if you're above average, I guess you could be attractive. And I'm sure, I'm sure that Marissa is attractive to somebody, but to most people, if you even, okay, talking about physical appearances, right? Marissa is bottom of the barrel, okay? I gotta keep it a buck with you, okay? There's that, and then also, once you hear her start talking, once you hear the way she thinks, and you're immediately going, this person, even if they were a five, immediately goes down to a one. I mean, how many times have you been in a relationship with somebody, or you thought you were about to be in a relationship with somebody, you thought, this person has great bone structure, this person has domesticated butt cheeks, this person is, oh my god, good voluptuous egg sacs. And then you hear them talk and you go, oh, yeah, no, 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 that's not right. That's not it. That's not the one I want to be with. That person sounds terrible. That doesn't sound like anything I want to be a part of. That is Marissa, except she doesn't even have the looks. So there's uh, almost no benefit to this person, actually. So Because I'm fat. Yes. But yes, I am attractive. I'm voluptuous. I'm creative. I'm brilliant, outgoing. Ah, ah definitely voluptuous creative not really dude you, i mean not even in your comp not even in your like your ability to diss people you don't even say anything that creative at all so i'm not i can't even do that brilliant ah nope mm -mm, not even close dude get the fuck out of here with that shit outgoing definitely not this person literally is like one of the most anti-social people ever um granted they do have a social media presence but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're outgoing hilarious looking maybe colorful I don't even know what that means. Uh, is that something like you say about a black person? They're colorful? I don't know. And freaking awesome. Well, this person is glazing you the fuck up. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Or they're just trying to run a test probably. That might actually be what it is. Just like, let me see if I can compliment this person like 15 times and see what happens. Uh, oh, what do you know? It's exactly what I thought it was going to be, which is just terrible reaction. Hilarious, colorful, and freaking awesome. I'm all of those things, but I'm also fat. And also unbearable, unbearable. Yeah, that's fat it. does not mean ugly. Well, I think it depends on how fat you are. I think having extra tissue on your body that's literally doing nothing, most people would determine to be unattractive. Fat does not mean unworthy. Fat does not mean disgusting. Yeah. Fat does not mean any of those biased stereotypes that diet culture has told you that fat means. Fat has never. You don't need, you don't need diet culture to, to, to realize that when somebody goes like this, and they have that big, you know what I'm talking about? That big extra blop on the back end of their tricep. You know that that's gross, right? Like, you ever, I remember when I was a kid and I was at the courthouse, right? I forgot what I was at the courthouse for. I went to the court a lot when I was a kid. But I remember I just had to wait outside because I was a children at the time. And obviously I had no reason to be in the court. So I was outside sitting on those really, really terrible benches, right? Looking over at those water fountains that nobody used. And I'm actually, I'm actually, does anybody ever use the water fountains out in public? I remember one time when I was like 16 years old, right? I was downtown Boston and I'm not playing with you. I literally saw a homeless man washing his dick in one of those and he was rubbing it up against the nozzle of the brim. And then to, d to this day, I'll go downtown Boston and I'll see people just bending over, <laughs> sucking on that shit. And I'm just thinking, so you're just getting homeless meat in your mouth, right? Like, let's be honest. That's what you're doing. Now, granted, that might be purified water. That might be great, amazing, delectable, beautiful water. But I did somebody, I'm pretty sure somebody is using that as a butthole washer, right? That's that's what that is, dude. A dick washer. Somebody ran their ass across it, and now you're sucking from it. Like, you love it or something like that. So, I don't know why somebody... Does anybody use those? No. Even if it was in a courthouse, I would still not trust that shit. Fuck off me. So, we have that. Um, I don't even know what we're talking about. I forgot. Bias stereotypes that diet culture has told you that... Oh, yeah. Diet culture. You, you don't need to know that diet culture in order to know that that shit is gross. Oh, yeah. I remember when I was like... I think I was like seven and there was this fat lady that came out of an elevator, obviously. And she came out of the elevator and I didn't realize how fat she was 
until she turned. And then I saw that she was wearing like a short sleeve shirt. And then I saw like the slop that slipped out from underneath the shirt. And it was a yellow shirt. I, I remember this day so vividly, dude, because she couldn't walk basically. And she was fat. So she was younger though. She was like maybe 35. And she was like doing one of these. And I saw that extra skin come out the back. I was like, what the fuck is that? Because I never saw that before. And I remember asking my, my family, I was like, what the fuck is that shit? And they were like, oh, she's just fat. Not it. That is not just fat. That shit is crazy. That is insane. Look at the um. Look at the size. That shit is big. And it's crazy sometimes when you look at that extra fat on somebody and you realize that is actually hurting you a lot. That means fat has never meant or equaled those things before. Uh, yeah, it has. What do you? Maybe like uh, three hundred years ago when people were like dying of starvation, it probably was like, yeah, you're good. It's good to be fat. But nowadays, yeah, all those things apply and, and smelly too. And a lot of fat people are reclaiming the word fat because they don't actually mean those things. And it's just a descriptive word to describe our bodies. Kind of like smelly. Is smelly good? Is, a, is smelly a good descriptive word? What about like drug addicted? Is that good too? Is that all right? Like it's just a descriptive word, you know? Like if you call up the cops and be like, hey, oh, can you like, can you give me a description? <laughs> um, smelly smelly he was really bad smelling oh unclipped toenails right i mean i couldn't believe it he was walking down the street with like literally flip-flops which i don't i don't trust anybody wearing flip-flops his feet were literally black and this is a solid white man and i saw that when he was running as well there was a smoke like a foghorn was sounding when he walked by me my nostrils shriveled up immediately when i smelt the pure must that this guy was presenting i don't know what we're talking about so by you telling me that I'm not fat, it's very invalidating. But like, what about all that other stuff next to it? Like, is that not good? It was the end of a sentence too. So it wasn't even like, oh yeah, you might have fat, but guess what? You're also all these things too. Like, I understand what she's saying. She's basically saying like, you can be fat and all those things can apply. I don't know why you would feel the need to tell me that I'm fat, but no, nobody's saying that, dude. What this person is saying is yes, you're fat and they're not saying you're fat, but they're not saying that. They're saying and. So you're fucking dumb. You can't even take a fucking compliment. Man, Marissa, dude, you're fucking, you're just the worst, dude. Literally the fucking worst, dude. And you know what? I think it's actually great because we need a lot of representation. I think it's awesome that we don't need, like, to have somebody step outside of the masculine framework into the feminine framework, such as Marissa, to really show that you can be retarded not just as a man, but also as a redheaded woman as well from Canada. So I think it's great. You know what, dude? We talk a lot about inclusion here on the channel. And I think it's awesome that we can finally put a name to it. You know, here's the inclusion that we actually needed, dude. Uh, this is beautiful. Thank you, Marissa, for really proving the point that not just men are retarded, but women are too. And by you telling me that I'm not fat, it's invalidating my personal experience as a fat person. I just think that Marissa needs to leave the internet, dude. Like, there have been plenty of times when somebody had told me something that I thought was invalidating me, but I just kind of went, okay, bro, that's fine, dude. Like, it's not worth my effort because, like, what the fuck? Me explaining this to you would literally be more effort. You, ever, you know what I'm talking about? You ever have a conversation with somebody and they just get something so wrong and you go, nah, never mind. Because, like, even though you could have said something, it would have been literally a bigger waste of time to tell that person what that is instead of just going, you know what, forget it. Like, I'm out of here. I'm going to leave. Because it's not worth it sometimes. Like, I've had these happen to me a lot of times in relationship. This makes for good content, so I'm okay with explaining it here. But when I'm in relationships, sometimes I just kind of go, I'm not even going to bother. Like, you're so ridiculously wrong that me actually telling you the information would be more work than it would be to just go i don't want it like forget this shit. i'm just gonna leave i don't want to talk to you anymore you smell like literally bags of rocks you look like an expired grape leave me alone so anyway in our fat phobic society i don't think that's what you're trying to do here See, now I just do not understand this type of comment if you could stop screaming that would be nice no need for that true this type of mentality like i don't get it at all why in the hell are you trying to control my life i think marissa i think marissa really picks the worst fights to be in dude it's literally like marissa is a nine-year-old and she's picking fights with fetuses out of all the comments of all the things that you could be attacking you instead attack things that are not worth your time dude it just like why are you if if it's that low-hanging fruit why are you going for it it's like when somebody goes 
you look like you look like Mario. And I go, yeah, well, you know, that was easy, wasn't it, huh? How many times do you think I've heard you look like Mario? Pick something better. Pick something fucking better, dude. The Pringles man would have been better. I get that way less. You know what my favorite one was? You look like Doc Holliday. And I was like, oh my god. Doc Holliday is actually really good. That's a good one, dude. Val Kilmer? Oh man, that's good. That was really good. But if you call me Mario or Waluigi, I'm just looking at it like, eh, yeah, well, cool. I get, you know, like there was literally one time I was getting out of the gym and I was walking by uh, a car and there was a little black boy that was in the car and he said, Mario. And I looked at him and I was like, that's me. And then I just kept walking. So if a little seven-year-old or maybe probably was actually younger than that, he might have been like four or five or maybe even six. I don't know exactly how ages work when it comes to children. They all kind of remind me of the same age from like four to ten. So I don't know. But yeah. Yeah, if you're going to call me Mario, it just doesn't work for me. You're going to have to choose something better. Why in the hell are you trying to control what I do? Nobody's doing that. It's just like, for somebody like Marissa, I think she, Obviously, Marissa's retarded. This is crazy. I, I There's literally... I don't even know what the fuck I could say about this shit. It's actually so incredibly fucking dumb. Just delete the comment, dude. I don't fucking know, dude. Why the fuck are you replying to something like this? If What do you mean, why are you trying to control what I'm trying to do? What the fuck are you talking about? Are you stupid? What are you saying? Nobody's doing that shit. They're just having a comment. Dude, you, you think that when somebody says something in the comment section of your video, do you think that, like, means that they're trying to control you? No. That's not what they mean. And even if they did, they couldn't control you if they tried, right? So what are you talking about? Why would you even say that? That's stupid. That doesn't make any sense. I'm not... Also, like, are you... I'm not the one who's screaming. It's a sound that I used. It's somebody else screaming. So why are you telling me to not do something that I'm not actually doing? Okay, Marissa is either trolling hardcore here or she's actually mentally disabled. I'm sorry. Also, there is a need for it. Hence the video. Okay, first of all, you can't say, okay, there's no need for that. And then you said, yeah, but there is a need for that because I wanted to do it. So there was a need for it. So if that's the case, then there was a need for this comment, right? Right? Or a need for any of the comments because by your deductive reasoning, if you think that somebody posting something has to have a need behind it and that need can also be derived from the individual that is composing that particular message, then you also have to agree that all the comments and all the criticisms that are posted upon your TikTok are also valid. Do you understand how that works? Do you understand that you can't have it both ways? You literally can't have that both ways. And by the way, that is a very bad way of winning an argument. I mean, you could do it. It just kind of makes you seem like an asshole, though. The amount of times that I've had arguments with people and they go, and I go, this is just doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you do this? It doesn't make any sense to do this. And they go, well, it does make sense to do it because Jesus told me to do it. Okay, I guess. I guess. I mean, if that's where we're going or I thought that it would be a good idea to do it, so I did it. Like, it's fine to say that, but it doesn't actually win you anything. It just kind of, it's just basically you going, because I, because, because I can, bro. Because I can, dude. Hashtag, because I can. Like, why are you trying to control what I do on my page when you have absolutely no control over what I do on my page? Like, do you really think I'm going to listen to some stranger on the internet? No. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? It's a comment. You're taking it too serious. You're taking it too fucking serious, dude. If you wanted to take it serious, that's fine. But you can't take it serious and then be upset that you're taking it serious. No. I can do what the fuck I want to do. I just don't get how you go around trying to do this and try to dictate and control other people. Like, I don't get that. So, a lot of you know I've been miserable at many times in my life. From my undiagnosed depression, anxiety, PTSD. Jesus. Or complex PTSD. Um, undiagnosed ADHD, concussions, uh, living in a fat body most Man. of my life. So all the trauma that extends from that is what, Jesus fucking Christ. Oppression Olympics here, dude. Can you imagine starting a sentence and going, here are all my prerequisites to ensure that everybody knows that I am indeed the victim here. And then almost all of them are literally undiagnosed. Holy shit. Where have we gone nowadays? Instead of listing off your credentials, you instead, <laughs> you instead go, here are the things that are wrong with me. Oh my God. Oh my God. What are we doing? How did we get here, bro? Such a crazy ass thing to say. And by the way, make no mistake about it. This is a manipulative tactic, dude. Because what they're basically saying, what this what this girl Morris is actually saying is, 
you might have a valid criticism, but instead of like, instead of me actually looking at that as a valid cr criticism, I'm going to instead uh, invoke that I have mental illnesses. By the way, none of them are actually confirmed, but it doesn't really matter, right? Does it? So I'm just going to invoke that I have a whole bunch of mental illnesses. Therefore, anything that you say will be invalid because you're attacking somebody with mental disabilities. Hashtag you're in the wrong. Can't win an argument. I uh, can't win an argument against these people, dude. Oh man, dude. I would win so hard i would fucking i would call marissa out on this shit as it was happening bro this shit is so easy to just go wait a minute hold on now instead of actually going on a tangent about how many mental illnesses you have and trying to dismiss anything that i say preemptively how about we instead actually focus on the context of what the what what the words actually mean on the statements themselves instead of just saying because at that point you might as well just tell me that you just win because that is what that basically is you're just basically saying no matter what i say or no matter what anybody else says it doesn't matter because you have a mental illness therefore i have to cede over the win to you by default which is not the case marissa you're fucking dumb as much as i have been miserable as much as i've been miserable never once have i gone out of my way to comment nasty things to somebody else that's that's really where we're going huh really oh marissa really um not even in this video uh, wow real oh my god um is that real are you really telling me that right now just go back like 30 40 50 seconds ago i guess to any of the other videos we just reacted to uh that should tell you everything that you need just because you're not like direct I really hate it when people do this shit, bro. I fucking hate it so drastically when people talk in a very calm demeanor and try to make it seem like that what they're saying is not is not bad. That's like somebody going, yeah, I just kind of think that, you know, white people are superior and I think that black people are the worst even though they have monstrous BBCs and I just kind of think that fried chicken and watermelon are not, you know, like not the best or whatever. Like, you know, and then they go, why are you being so, I, I haven't talked mean to you. Like, I didn't, I'm not saying anything. I'm not talking. I'm not being, I don't give a fuck. I don't care that you're saying it. I don't care that you're saying it in a very like shallow, you know, pussy boy tone of voice, dude. The words that you're saying and the way that you're saying those words are disrespectful. And they're also incorrect. So you're saying a lot of like really, really terrible shit under the guise of saying it in a nice way. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. What the fuck? So you can go ahead and try to play this victim card that you don't talk very meanly to people under the whole, yeah, but I don't really say it. Like, I'm not calling people names. Like, it's fine, but you actually do. And you do it very, very, like, oh, it's such it's such a pussy-ass thing to say too, bro. Just own it. Just fucking own it, dude. Stop making it seem like you're the person that's in the wrong, Marissa. You're obviously the antagonist here. Unprompted, mind you. It's not unprompted. It's on a fucking video. Holy shit, this person is fucking dumb. Unprompted. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Marissa. Just shut the fuck up, dude. Not once have I ever done that. Not once have I thought, hmm, I'm so bored. I'm just going to belittle and dehumanize. It's, it's like Caesar. Like, <laughs> if you ever read any of the documents from, like, when Caesar was, like, conquering through Gaul and shit like that, he was always like, dude, they attacked first, bro. Like, I was just defending myself. Like, obviously, we would never, like, invade full-on towns and, like, murder, you know, thousands of people and starve, like, millions and, you know, like, take all the women and children and make them into slaves. Like, we wouldn't do that on purpose. We were doing it because they attacked first, bro. And then you look back through that and you go, wait a minute, all of them, like, all of your, all of your military escapades were, like, in defense? And he goes... Yeah, uh, I know. Isn't it crazy, dude? Like, people just see me and they think I'm such a bad guy. But I'm just, like, defending myself, bro. Hashtag defend, dude. Like, for Rome, dude. Hashtag Rome. I don't know, bro. Whatever the fuck. It's like that. Like, Marissa is perpetually the victim. And she could never do anything wrong. Which is terrible because, you know, at least Caesar got a salad named after him. And he was, like, a cool guy in the sense of, like, he did a lot of cool shit. But Marissa is, like, agonizing to be around. I, it's just, like, I'm hearing her talk and I'm just, like, you're dumb. Like, it's just stupidity. Guys, somebody else. No. The only times I've ever done that in my entire life is when I've been, like, you know, given death threats and shit, right? As a reaction out of anger and out of... So even when you... Even when you do do it it's because of a reaction which is not even the case like it's, it's supposed to be unprompted which means that like somebody says something mean to you without any prior engagement so anyway. like desperation um 
And that was when I was getting death threats and being bullied. But okay. anyway, yeah, say it again. that's beside the so, point. Say, say it three more times. Say it three more times, just to make sure that we know. My whole point is that I, as miserable as I've been, I cannot imagine commenting shit like this yeah. to somebody else. Yeah, just totally take the high road here, dude. Like, what, what, what she's basically saying here is like, I, even though I've been at the lowest point, I have mental disabilities, I'm literally a terrible person. I could still never do that, even though I do do that, and I did it in this exact video that we're watching right now. I could still never do that. Man, the projection. <sighs> Marissa is great. And dehumanizing them. Like, even if we have different opinions. No. I don't know why people, like, man, it's such, she's such a pussy, dude. She's such a fucking pussy, bro. This is such a pussy-ass thing to say, dude. Why does it matter if somebody, like, it'd be one thing if somebody was like, your mom is gay. Or, or somebody <laughs> said, like, your kids look like the swamp monster or something like that. That'd be one thing. But if somebody says, hey, dude, you look like literal spaghetti noodles online, why are you going, I can't believe, you're, you're dehumanizing me you're being mean to me you're being upset like i can't i could never even be in a position where i would do something like why are you being a bitch why are you being a bitch bro what the fuck stop being a pussy bro fight fire with fire dude if you really if you really bout it if you really bout that life say it with your chest say it with your chest bro don't play this pussy ass shit don't play this whole I could never, oh my God, I would never do that. Oh, look at me, I'm Marissa Matthews and I've always been in the right and I've never been in the wrong. And matter of fact, when I've been in the wrong, it's only because I was in the right. So I could never, what are you fucking talking about, Marissa? Shut the fuck up. Like nobody, you're not getting virtue points from this shit. Nobody gives a fuck that you're virtue signaling right now and trying to make it seem like you're the victim when obviously you're not the fucking victim. And you saying that this shit's unprompted on a comment on a video that you did, which doesn't even make sense because I'm pretty sure you probably said some really inflammatory shit on that fucking video, so. Not once have I gone to a Trump page and like belittled them. Okay, that's, that, is that really the testament we're gonna use right here? Like that is the bar? It, you, if you go on Trump pages and like that immediately throws out everything that you just said, right? So like good thing you didn't go on the Trump pages. Bro. Because they can have their own opinion True. as much as I don't agree. So if you think that people should have their own opinion, then you should also have, you should also be okay with me having the opinion that you look like Benjamin Franklin and that one girl from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Is that okay? Is that okay? Like, you're going to call me out on that? Please call me out. Call me out. I called you that girl from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You look like that girl. What's her name? Like, something, the fat girl. She wasn't fat, but then she turned purple, and then she, like, the Oompa Loompas, like, put her down the fucking well or whatever. I don't know, dude. That You look like her. Call me out. Call me out. I'm literally calling you out. They can have them. And don't, listen. If, if you do ever see this video, Marissa, and you hear me calling you out. Don't do that pussy boy shit and say that I'm a bad person for calling you out. Instead, right, I, here's what I want you to do. I want you to actually attack the points that I have instead of uh, instead of looking at, I don't know, attacking me physically. You can go ahead and say a whole bunch of really disgusting things about me physically if you want. You know, you can say a whole bunch of really bad stuff about my <laughs> amazingly shaped mustache and my perfectly contoured eyebrows. You can go ahead and say that. That's fine. You can also comment on my just outrageous, nor un abnormally large nose that has most definitely dipped into a few women's buttholes while I was performing other activities. Trust me, it's a benefit. <laughs> it's a benefit, dude. Even though I get a whole bunch of, David, are you Jewish comments? Which I don't even take offense to. I eat pork. It's got its benefits. Oh, yeah. But I want you to attack my points. I want you to. And I want you to not virtue signal. I don't want you to, I don't want you to sit there and say that I could never do that. I could never do that. You're just a bitch. That's some bitch shit. That's some straight bitch shit. That's some virtue signaling fucking crying wolf shit. I want you to attack the point. Attack the points. Your own opinion. And I can have my own opinion. Just like you can. But you're not doing this in a nice human way. Like, I'm so happy that I don't know who you are, that you're not in my life. Like, go to therapy. True. Oh. That's the best comeback, honestly speaking. When anybody says anything bad about you ever, just go go to therapy. Marissa, you know what I really think? I don't even know if therapy would help you. I think, honestly, if you went into a therapist's office and you started talking to that therapist, you'd be like, huh, um, I can't help. I don't even know what the fuck is even going on right now. This is actually insane. Like, I don't even think a human being could be this stupid, to be honest. But um, thanks for the money. <laughs> uh, I will prescribe you to another doctor in a mental institution. Obviously, uh, there is no person that is a psychiatrist that, that could even possibly deduce any type of improvement upon you. It's literally useless. 
Like, why do people have to do this instead of just going to therapy True. or reflecting or... Why, why do you have to be fat when you could just, like, hashtag not be fat, bro? Or not, like, just don't project. Like, stop projecting. I shouldn't have to deal with your fat phobia. Stop projecting. You don't have to deal with it. You could just, like, read the comment and just, like, you know, oh, yeah, I don't want to... I'll just not reply. You, you did it to yourself, like, you know that, right? Okay. Fuck. True. So, I also just wanted to put it out here that... But you are obese and it's not healthy or attractive. True. I mean, that's a factual fucking statement. Damn, dude. Nikki coming through with the fucking solid facts right now, dude. Jesus. This was her original comment. Yeah. But you What'd were you obese and it's not healthy or attractive. Like... But you're wrong about both things. It's such a great comeback. Oh, such a great fucking comeback, dude. Um, definitely not wrong about the obese. That's a factual statement. You're literally obese. So I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. How could she literally be wrong about something so incredibly factual? And then she's also right about the attractive part. Um, <laughs> dude, come on. Let's be honest here for a second, dude. You're... We really want to die on a hill? Come on. Why? Why do you need to comment that to me? Marissa, stop being a bitch, dude. Like, what are you doing right now, bro? Is this really a video of you just fucking pandering and just going, oh my god, I'm being bullied online. People said a whole bunch of terrible shit. By the way, why are you tagging your fucking post with Niagara Falls, dude? What, do you actually live there? What the fuck? Why are you tagging your location? It's fine, though, I guess. You know, everybody knows that I live in Massachusetts, so. Like, why? What makes your life so fucking miserable that you have to belittle and dehumanize another human being? You know what's interesting about Marissa is that everything that she says can equally be put upon herself, just multiplied by like eight. So when she says, your life must be so miserable to comment this stuff, and then she then makes a response video about it. Can you, can you imagine trying to say the person commenting is worse than you making a reply video about that comment? Can you imagine saying that shit and thinking you're right? Mental deficiency. I do not comprehend it. How I, I mean, I know she can't comprehend it, dude. This woman is literally, like, mentally prohibited. Miserable do you have to be to do that? Because I have been on the brink of death so many fucking times and I've never done it. So I do not comprehend this. I, you know, like, again, I, you know, it's such a fucking... Like, you're, you're virtue signaling so hard and trying to get the high ground, bro. And it just comes off so fucking pussy boy dude get your shit together dude fight with your fucking heart fight with your chest dude why are you fighting on your back to get on your feet at all by responding you're giving them what they want true bro this is such a fucking true statement dude oh let's see what marissa says obviously she's not gonna say anything of value guess what deborah i don't know if you're a deborah but guess what deborah like Stop telling me what the fuck to do. True. Oh, I was not expecting that. Oh my god, dude. What a fucking curveball, dude. Stop telling me what to do. Marissa, you know, her replies are basically like what a nine-year-old would say. I don't want don't, don't tell me what to do anymore. If I were to cross the street and I look both ways, then don't tell me. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me to file my taxes on time. Stop telling me what to do. I'm gonna rob somebody. Don't tell me it's wrong. Some good information. This is why I just say, don't, don't, just don't, don't watch Marissa. There's literally no value in it. Unless you just want to watch somebody stumble over their own words and make zero sense in like everything they say. There's nothing you can get from this person, dude. It's literally agony. How to live my life. True. Oh my God, I did not fucking ask. I didn't ask. There's no. <laughs> Man, it's all right. It's fine to say I didn't ask, but it doesn't actually mean anything because just because you didn't ask them for advice, they didn't ask you to make the video that they're responding to. And that's like somebody going like, <laughs> that's like somebody going like, oh, my sweet baby, I gave birth to you. And you go, I, did I ask though? Did I ask to, did I ask for you to give me birth? Like, what do you? What are you talking about? What does that have to do with fucking anything? That's like somebody going like, oh yeah, I hired you. And then you go, did I ask? Cool. Cool, Marissa. You're really, you're really winning right now. 
need to tell me what to do or how to live my life. True. I'm literally neurodivergent. And the fact that you say this... Guess I don't even know what you mean by neuro-fucking-divergent, dude. You just told me you have like a whole... Like your entire life is undiagnosed. You're literally bragging about having undiagnosed everything. And then you sit there and go, I'm neurodivergent. It's such a fucking cop-out, dude. Just because you think that you have something doesn't mean that exempts you from talking about shit and also exempts you from getting criticism on that same shit. Shut the fuck up and get off the internet then. Guess what? Now I'm going to respond more. We Beautiful. I mean, that's that's the, the definition of Marissa Matthews. You told me not to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway because you told me not to do it. Beautiful, Marissa. You're so fucking good. Lou, you know what? Gain weight. Oh, shit. I wonder what you're going to do now, right? Obviously, none of this shit fucking applies to her. Stupid. <laughs> Like, stop telling me what to do. Don't tell, was... me, don't tell me what to do with your bore. I don't want you to tell me what to do because when you tell me what to do, my Bob told me that I don't like you. And you also look ugly. And you look like you have barbecue sauce on your lips. You're ugly. Child. For anything. Yeah, they are two different things. But here's the issue. Because of your fat phobia, you are assuming that I possess bad habits based on what I look like. You do have bad habits based on what you look like. There's no doubt about it in your mind, dude. I have some bad habits when you look at me. I forgot to shave yesterday and I'm wearing the same pants that I wore three days ago. And I'm also wearing shoes that I should have probably replaced uh, probably a month ago or two months ago. So, and I didn't put on deodorant today. Did I put on deodorant today? Hold on, wait, wait. Yeah, I put on deodorant today, so I got that. <laughs> Definitely got that. Anyway. That is the definition of fucking fat phobia. You have absolutely nothing and no evidence and no proof to base in your assumptions about who I am. You're looking at me and you're judging me based on my appearance. That in and of itself is an example of fat phobia. Your fat phobia is blinding you from learning anything about me before making those judgments. You know what's crazy about Marissa is that she'll have a back catalog of about a thousand videos and somebody could literally be watching all of her videos and she'll still go, you don't know anything about me. And because of that, you don't have the right to comment this and you also don't know anything about me. Therefore, this comment is invalid. Which is fucking dumb because how do you know that this person knows nothing about you? You're just projecting. You're just saying shit that makes no fucking sense, Marissa. Literally, this entire point has no value at all. I don't even know why you chose to make a comment on this comment. It's so fucking bizarre to me that Marissa purposely picks the comments that are like the most fucking weird. Like, why are you doing this shit, dude? It's such a, it's such a bad hill to die on, dude. There could have been way better points. And guess what? Those judgments harm and kill fat people. Okay. So stop. So again, with the virtue signaling, if you do this and you're like really bad because I have mental, Ill I have mental illnesses. And also if you do this, you're also hurting somebody, which I don't really even give a fuck because guess what? Like everything you do has the, you know, everything you do can hurt somebody. So sure, I guess, dude, like me making this video is probably hurting somebody. I don't know how, maybe it's hurting them so good. I don't know, bro, whatever doing it and unlearn your fat phobia or just stop projecting it onto fat people Pure. like me true dude marissa is uh, awesome i love marissa she's great she's amazing she smells really good i hope she smells really good you would think that if you're fat you would try to prioritize smelling a little bit good i don't even know if she does skincare or anything like that but it doesn't matter you know what you're beautiful you're amazing you smell really good uh, that's the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff, I would appreciate you. It helps me grow in the algorithm. So thank you for any of that stuff. I want to thank everybody that's a member of the channel, everybody that's a subscriber already. Thank you so much. By the way, none of you guys are subscribed right now. Please subscribe. Help me with that. Please. Almost 10,000. Can you believe it? 10,000 subscribers. We're going to do something special on 10,000. I don't know what yet, but I'm taking recommendations. So leave it down below. Um... By the way, uh, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in 10K because we're literally on the threshold of it. We're like 500 subscribers away or something like that at the time of making this video. So if you can write 10K, 10, 10, or you could just write 10K, which I believe is like T-E-N and then K or K-E-Y. I guess you could write it that way. Regardless of how you write it, I will appreciate it. And I love you. I love you so, uh, so much. Oh, man, you were looking... You're looking really good today. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, anytime I look at you, I just kind of, I forget where I'm at. Where are we right now? Who are you? Why do you look so good? Hey, wow. Huh. Oh, you're giving me a little bit of a rise in my Levi's, if you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're spectacular. I love your eyebrows and your ankle bones. They're really good and defined. Mmm, tasty. Anyway, guys, uh, if I was a zombie, I would definitely choose you first. 
We're gonna end the video here. If you wanna check out my social media, they'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.